hey, John Reed, JDOD.com, check out the new flags. This, this is us. We're Tech Ed Live. This is our very first shoot. We have Michael Fisher. What's going on? Hey, what's up? How are you? I'm doing well. Now, Michael's got an awesome story because you are not an SAP developer, and yet you are at SAP Tech, and you don't know what this is, do you? I'm excited to be here. Yeah. You, you won a competition, and you're, you're a Demo GM finalist now, man. That's pretty cool. Thank you very much. Yeah. I was in San Francisco earlier and a couple, day, a couple weeks ago and ended up here. Yeah, so you, you actually won the TechCrunch Disrupt Hackathon. Yeah. And you were using HANA for the first time, of course, mm -hmm. since you've done the SAP before. <laughs> and now you're a Demo Jam finalist. That's pretty awesome, huh? Yeah, it was awesome. So let's talk a little bit about uh, how this all played out. So you, you showed up, uh, you knew you were going to do the Hackathon and mm -hmm. Disrupt. Yeah. And then you had a couple of converging ideas. One was around green energy and one was around in memory. Tell me about that. Yeah, so you know, I'm always tossing ideas around in my head. And I went to the um, TechCrunch hackathon in San Francisco and you know, I saw SAP HANA. I had a little bit of experience with in memory databases before. So I knew their capabilities and what they could do. And I also, so I went there with that in my head. And then I also saw that there was a um, presentation about uh, energy usage and how you could, there's a new standard that you can read a lot of uh, data about how you're using energy within your home. And I thought, hey, it would be awesome to see, to use SAP HANA along with this new um, data initiative for energy usage and combine them together and create a system that will allow you to monitor and see how much energy you're using. And 24 hours <laughs> later. Yeah. You know, so, so you were literally coding for 24 hours. Yeah, definitely. Um, I love the hackathon format, how it's you know 24 hours, do what you can do, use the tools, meet the people, code for 24 hours straight, see what yeah. you can do, and at 3 o'clock the next day, give a, pres give a one minute presentation on stage in front of hundreds of people. Now, I want people to understand, you are not an SAP developer. You, you wouldn't know ABAP. You could probably learn it, but <laughs> you, you're like a coffee script guy. I've never heard of that, but you're a coffee script, you're Python. Multilingual, yeah. yeah. You know, it, yeah. once you know how to program, you know, you can learn to program a bunch of things. But, and it's just, it's about choosing the tool that best matches what you're trying to accomplish. So, yeah. you know, for this, for this thing, you know, coffee script, Django, SAP HANA, all these things were really well suited for creating this this thing this thing that I wanted to create this thing that I wanted to create and this thing that I wanted to create that would help um, that would have an impact for people as well right so that's kind of what lit your imagination up was that you could build something that we could actually you know you could say it has a purpose in the world yeah it's definitely. not just something you were goofing with like, yeah yeah exactly I think this is built to work from mm -hmm. you know you know, there's there's some more stuff that has to, you know, in 24 hours you can't accomplish everything. You have to sort of focus on what you can do in 24 hours so it doesn't have everything. But this is the core ideas and the core elements and the tool chain and the, the flow of how things will work is there. So you, you were coding in your preferred languages. You were pulling on, on, on data with HANA. Um, and, and you were using the AWS instance. Yes, exactly. Yep, yeah. Yep. And it wasn't easy. You told me it wasn't easy, but but hey, it's not supposed to necessarily be easy, right? And to learn something new in 24 hours, <laughs> you got it done, though. Yes, exactly. You know, once you got everything up and running, once you get that first little bit through, and then you can start. Okay, now that it works, I can open up the floodgates and allow the whole thing to properly go. And you know, getting everything working requires a little bit of learning, but it's nothing that is impossible by any means. You know, you have to read it, figure out what's working, read the documentation, do some test cases, experiment quickly, get some results through, and then bam, you know, get something up and running quickly. So are you nervous to get up on stage in front of all those people? Um, you know, I'm excited to, be, to have yeah. the opportunity to get in front of the people and show people what I built and how, what it can, and the impact that it can have for other people as well. And, and how are you gonna do that on stage by yourself, what are the key points you're gonna to try to get across? So it's a six minute presentation, so I'm gonna describe a little bit about what it does, how it can be useful, some extensions on it, um, and you know the key insights I had while building it, and maybe some future work that you know could be done by other people as well. Sounds good, so uh, we're gonna wish you luck with that, and it'll be interesting to see what comes of your adventure, but thanks for coming down here. Thanks. I'm, happy, I'm really looking excited to this week uh, with SAP Tech Ed and looking forward to a great time. Absolutely, man. Appreciate it. Thank you.
from Stanford Graduate School to SAP TechEd via TechCrunch Disrupt. <laughs>